Hi, my name is Steve Hooten and uh, today I'll be showing you how to get a, an image from this raw image here, which is the one I took on my EOS um, 5 Mark 2D um, and then process it in raw to get that sort of <coughs> basic image and then from there do the final image on that. Now it tends when you do one of these lectures it never tends to come out exactly the same but hopefully we'll get something quite similar but that's uh, I was happy with this image um, it doesn't take long uh, to do and you'll learn various techniques on what to do with it so if we open our raw image uh, which will be coming through the system as soon as it can there we are and uh, the first thing we do is uh, adjust the color temperature because it's a bit blue as you can see now this uh, I happen to know that that hub 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 um, or this car or even this pipe is the right color so that's around about the right color for the actual day that we saw um, or as I see it you can see it's plenty of blown out highlights and these are indicated by the red um, indicators which are turned on and off up in these this editor here so you can see where the shadows are if you do that one um, there's not many here because and we can d turn off the highlights if we turn this one off but we need them on there just basically to show what we've got too much of so we go down to the highlights bring them down which will take most of those out I don't need to worry about those ones over there there's still a bit of highlighting there you can see that when we turn that off um, and it's just the basic luminance of that red car um, and the luminance there so as I say we could then put take down the whites um, and let's open up the shadows slightly and to get this a bit more um, crisp we'll um, go down to the uh, dehaze and we've set it at uh, sort of somewhere around 78 um, and so we've got we've got a reasonable image we've got plenty of detail in the trees etc now I know that that obviously isn't going to be needed but on the other hand you might as well start off with a de fairly decent image to start with in order to be able to do it we go down to the optics where we make sure we've got remove and cr remove chromatic abrasions and user profiles corrections if you haven't got that ticked to make sure they are ticked um, the geometry is right which is basically the ups and downs uh, we could try to correct it by pressing that A button and it will correct it for any there are it was wasn't quite straight so now that's corrected that uh, if you want to if you have a building or something like that or a column in a bit picture and you wanted to make sure it was straight you'd use this one here and if it was a shelf or something else like that you'd use that one there and if it's a mixture of the two you'd use that one although this one that I'm highlighting now actually distorts the picture quite considerably sometimes because it really does try to do it so I think that the average one is generally better to use when you're starting to, to manipulate an image rather than trying to make it perfect to start with um, so we've got that image so we'll open that up and that opens up in Photoshop and so we've now got those those things there now what I'm going to do now is going to something you can do on uh, Photoshop CC which is select these people quite individually um, and then make them on a on a separate layer so I can play with them later and put them back into the image so the first thing I'm going to do is going to do that so I go now on your system you've probably got and if you're not on CC you can't do this but um, in the quick selection tool and the magic wand tool that tool here or that sort of paintbrushy type of thing in yours in your Photoshop that symbol above it will probably appear uh, but because I use this tool so often I have actually separated it so that I could it, it is I don't have to go into that one I always know where it is it's always there for easy easy finding so I'm going to get that one first so press that and I'm going to make sure it's a rectangle 
uh, the alternative is a lasso and that can be used if you if you want to do it I'll show you both ways but uh, let's do the let's get this person out first so we draw a rectangle around them and that does a reasonable job at this it probably miss the dog out but uh, because it doesn't think it's a person it isn't but it's <laughs> press the shift key put a little box around that and it'll add it to it <coughs> then we go to the next person press the shift key and basically do a rough rough selection of her she's got her do it again the shift key draw the box round she's got that shift key box round her box round him shift key shift again that one there and that one there so we've got all the people selected now now you can at the, t at the time um, actually refine that mask by taking because as you notice that um, certainly the lady in the middle with the red bobble um, we've got, got bits of the car in and uh, you know between her arms you could go up to the um, select tool in fact I'll do it I think if it, if it will allow me to um, go to the second one which is the quick selection tool make sure you're on a minus and then sort of press the press the alt key and then you'll be able to take those bits off or add to the mask and make it a little bit better same there um, we're okay with the others I think you know there are obviously some discrepancies there uh, we could do the between the legs but we do that usually at post um, see if you try to do it like that you're not going to get it so let's go back to that tool up there and reselect him make sure you hold down the shift key otherwise you'll have a problem okay so I'm now going to now I've got all the people I'm going to go to edit copy edit paste that puts them on him on a different layer or them on a different layer and um, we'll keep that layer now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do control alt shift and E which basically takes a snapshot of the whole image um, I'm then going to reselect those people again and then here's a wonderful thing I'm going to take those people out inside the image but because I've got them already on the layer one which is I'm going to rename as people um, although it's obvious but I, I do tend to uh, name my layers so it's got people um, and that's a snapshot so let's call that snapshot or content aware because that's actually what we're going to do on it so we'll call content aware fill it's okay so we've got that keeping that one highlighted go to edit content aware fill now that puts a new image up there and it shows you what it's going to do and it also shows you as you see here that they've taken bits and pieces out um, now you could be quite uh, clever and brush out the fact that you don't want um, the reds of these cars filled in so you can take the reds out there and hopefully it should yeah. um, it's got trees there now so you might be able to take out a bit of the tree like that and see what see whether it makes a difference here yeah, it's done a little bit of difference um, but anyway we, we've basically got what we want it is, is just a uh, an image without the people in so we'll leave it at that you can change the color of that um, ship that masking there if you want to do it 
uh, you can change there's various options here that you can change as well but I'm quite happy with that because of the type of edit we're doing so we go OK that will take the picture those people out and we can then go to uh, and take the deselect them okay and so you've you've got a little bit of ghosting there but it's to be expected um, I'm just going to change the color I'm just going to um, crop this image now um, and make it so that we've got basically the image that we want anyway a bit less there, up there. we don't need her we'll keep her in for the colors but uh, and bring that down so you can choose to delete the cropped pixels up here which are this bit so they're going to delete that or you can take it off now if you're doing a um, if you're doing a rotate for instance if we were rotating the image slightly uh, it would and you sometimes see those checker checkerboard underneath if you press that one there it will fill that checkerboard in for you inside the crop uh, but we don't need that today so let's so we've got a basic image there now we can then uh, so we've done the content aware we can copy that um, control out shift and E or control J whichever you want we'll do control J which is a copy of that a direct copy of that image we'll turn it into a smart object so we highlight that um, anywhere in that uh, layer and we go down to convert to smart object the reason we're going to do that is because we're going to do some zooming and things and using what they call a smart filter and if you content aware it uh, sorry you smart object it it means you can quickly go back to it and change the settings if, it, if they come out wrong which they probably will do the next time we do it so let's uh, go to filter radial uh, blur radial blur and we don't want the spin option which would give us that sort of effect we want the zoom option and we want to probably move the zoom a bit further down a bit further across and we'll need to increase that to something like 70 percent can you see what it's doing okay so that's the effect it's going to have let's make it a bit further down okay let's see what effect that has yep that's the sort of effect we want uh, we don't need now we've seen where it goes we can now crop it again so that we've got a bit more of a uh, the effect over there so now we have the basis of our our image um, now as you saw if we turn this off and turn that off we've got the people again and we turn that one off we've only got the people okay uh, we can then go and zoom in and see what sort of effect there is that you see that it hasn't quite matched all that lot so let's take those bits out now we can we might as well use for this purposes you could use a mask or we could um, or we could uh, use your hand tool to to navigate round. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use the erase tool uh, rather than the crop tool, uh, uh, rather than the mask tool. Uh, no reason other than I, I tend at this sort of stage I tend not to make a lot of mistakes on it. Um, so let's have a look at that. So let's erase that. Well, we're just basically taking all these little bits and bobs and, and faults where it hasn't quite done the job that it should be doing it also gets rid of the, the borders if we do it this way and it's it's not always accurate I mean, it depends how accurate so your, your selection has been obviously certain certain ones do a bit more than others you know, they're clearer than others let's take all this out 
Now the trouble with the obviously the erase tool is that if you erase it, it's gone. So, rather than the so I'll, und I'll undo that one, undo the erase again, uh, under erase. That's you can if you use the mask. Obviously you've um, you can do that. Change it with white. Doesn't have to be accurate. I mean, it's a surreal sur sur image, so it's you know it's not uh, doesn't have to be over accurate. But obviously, you want to be as accurate as you can be, um, and right for the purposes of the um, demonstration that we're doing today, you might as well. You know, I'm I'm, I'm rushing it, but uh, you might as well. Rivets. Now if you want to get a straight line, if you put it in the middle like that and then press the shift key and then put the next point you'll get the straight line. There's a little tip for you, it's free. Um, we're okay with a little bit of that, we can always clone it out later. Um, go around the thing. Again there, shift key. And I'll do another one. Please hasn't been over accurate today. Um, shift. Because obviously it's, they're wearing these funny um, bubble jackets. It's not as um, smooth as a general person is. Um, but as I say, it, it, for the purpose, you, you would obviously be a lot more accurate uh, or use the clone brush and things like that rather than I do want to get rid of these sort of abrasions you know where the colour seeps through uh, I'm okay with the hair being all over the place that's not a problem but I might want to sort of straighten her up a, a cagoule or whatever she, what they call them the bubble jackets obviously you change the size of the erasure brush if you if you need to um, let's have her arm separated from it from her other arm uh, coming back onto this one, take those greens out, go over, got a nice shaped dog there, um, she's okay there, bit of black round it, might, might take that off otherwise it looks as though she's got baggy trousers on, go up to the top, take this bit of a over it, overzealous content to wear. It's okay there, let's get rid of some of those. Got a weird and wonderful dog shape but let's make it a bit more emphasised. So now she's wearing slightly baggier trousers. But we're happy with that. There's no detail in that dog anyway so it's uh, Well, the proper way of doing that, of course, would be using a mask. Um, and in case you want to know, you know, plenty of masking videos around. Just, uh, just gonna get into that one there. Get rid of that. Shift key. You want to make it again with the how many people didn't know that you could use that, but anyway that you can and that's how you do it. Um there. okay with that one. He's okay, this needs perhaps that there. That will be accurate enough for this purposes for this thing. So that's okay, turn the rest on. It's 
so we're now back to it's the zoomed image um, and now we can move the people oh no what we'll do first is actually we'll give them some colors and brighten them up a bit so so there we are at the people layer so what I want to do is want to get, get put a curves layer on there and a saturation to get some colors in those hats and things so let's do the curves layer first which then gives us this box here and we want to link it to by pressing alt which changes the when you go in halfway between the two so that now links it with that little arrow and it will only affect this layer, it won't affect any of the others so let's brighten that up you can see a bit more colours in there ok, we'll go back there we'll go into camera raw so we go filter camera raw and then because obviously the layer is not affect, uh, it's not being affected in the camera wall because we're actually in the camera wall layer uh, which is the one below that curves layer we can then um, do the do the basics and we can add some texture into those uh, those coats and jackets add some clarity add a little bit of dehaze not a lot and increase the vibrance and increase the saturation should be okay so when it uh, puts it back in we've got a brighter layer and that's without the curves layer and that's with the curves layer can you see the details coming up in the jackets um, and I'm happy with that I mean there's a little bit of overspill up here which I might cure now just give me a second sometimes you see these things in it looks like he's got a, a hoodie on or something so it's uh, pretty sure we're on the erase tool or the mask tool and smooth it out a bit he's got a, let's make that a little bit easier he's got a lopsided head so let's take that bit out that squares his head off slightly he's walking like a Mancunian so so let's um, put those people back in, move the layer up, oh, sorry, um, first of all uh, join the two layers together, so highlight those two and um, merge the layer. So now we've got the, we've got the the actual adjustments that we've made on that layer we then bring it up to the top and there they are now they're no good there uh, so we'll move them and that's halfway can you see that red guide it's halfway in the image we want actually them to be slightly below that but at the same time we want to um, possibly make them bigger so we go to edit free transform now he's got to be standing on this we know there's a pavement there so he's got to be standing on that to say the very least so we'll move him over to over there and we'll move them over there if you leave the shift key press the shift key it keeps them um, it, it does it to scale okay so we're okay there be about right it doesn't matter whether she's in the center because I, th I, I, I tried it a couple of times whichever way and it uh, she does look better slightly more central but uh, we're okay there so commit for that one so now we've got the basic image we've just got to make sure that when we go here um, we can add a mask to it and um, so let's just give me two seconds add a mask to it and I 
want to then brush out in black the road a slightly bigger soft brush enough to be very strong ghosts appeared and we can either not mask them or we'll um, take them out again otherwise it causes a little bit more work um, so we're okay there so we've got the road again to obviously do a control stamp layer since we're happy with the basic image and now we've got a complement on that so we we'll go to filter camera raw and we want the adjustment brush again so which is this one up here in the corner yeah um, and I want to put I put a little it's not a mask but what it is it's, it shows you where it is so let's can you see it's painting in red so I know that this is what is going to be affected when I do this this image here so I now turn it off and I can now turn down the the brightness of that I can always add to it of course if I've missed anything right and I can also I, I don't like cropping in, in raw but I can do um, and also I can add a vignette which goes up to the Again, the edit one up there in the right top and go to effects and then add a vignette to the whole image go up to the basic again increase the exposure overall press OK and that basically is the picture that we had to start with and that's how we did it. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.